Let's graph the linear equation y equals minus 5x. And we'll do this two ways. We'll use a table of values where we put values in for x, find y, and then we graph those points on the graph paper here. Then we'll look at slope-intercept formula to check our work. So let's start out by putting some values in for x. If we put 0 in for x, negative 5 times 0, that's just 0. Let's put 1. Negative 5 times 1, that's negative 5. And how about negative 1? So negative 5 times negative 1, that would give us a positive 5. So these are the points we'll graph for the equation y equals negative 5x. So the first point, 0, 0, that's right here. Then we go to 1, negative 5. So x is 1, y is negative 5. We could stop there, but it's helpful to have three points to make sure these first two are correct. So we go to x is negative 1 and y is 5. And you can see those three points there. We could have chosen any points. I chose 0, 1, and negative 1 because I was pretty sure they'd fit on the graph paper. So let's put a line through this. And then we'll put arrows to show that it goes to infinity. So this is the graph for y equals minus 5x. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept. We don't have a y-intercept. We could think about it as plus 0 here. Then we could go to the y-axis and go down and we hit 0. That would be our first point. For the slope, we have negative 5. We could think about this as negative 5 over 1. It's still negative 5. But now we can say rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept, and we're going to rise negative 5. So that means we're going to go down negative 5 and over 1. And that point is on our graph. We could go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1. That would be on the graph as well, but we're off the paper now. So we could go the opposite direction. We could go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1 in the opposite direction. That's on our line, too. So we know we did the first part correctly and that this is the linear equation for y equals minus 5x. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.